win it. <laughs> What's up, my shabitches? It's me, Kaylee. It's me, I'm back. Did you think you weren't gonna see me again? Yes, well, I'm here, I'm back. Gorge. <sighs> so, for today's brand new, brand new <laughs> YouTube video. So, I've noticed lately that people on the internet, people on TikTok, people on whatever social media platform that have millions and 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 millions of followers, they all of a sudden have paparazzi targeting them as if they were A-list celebrities. When I think of paparazzi, I think of really large celebrities like the Kardashians, like very large singers and actors, like A-list and all the all the most amazing amazing feature films, all these seasoned, wonderful, beautiful actors that have been in the industry for years. Like I think, that's why I think of a paparazzi. They're just like, this. they're just walking along the sidewalk like this. However, there is this YouTube channel called Hollywood Fix. They have like 5,000 videos and it is just them going around. I mean, they do A-list celebrities as well, but there are so many videos of them like paparazzi-ing. Paparazzi. I'm shy. No common, I'm shy. Anyways. What was I saying? This YouTube channel called The Hollywood Fix, they go around and follow YouTubers that have millions of followers, like Trisha, Paytas, Tana. And I thought it'd be fun. Oh, oh, I'm up, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I also forgot, they follow around TikTok stars as well. This just makes me think like, why can't I be paparazzi? Like imagine me walking down the streets of Atlanta, like being paparazzi. <laughs> I can't even imagine. I'd be just like walking down the street and they'd be like, Kaylee over here, look at smile, 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 over here, here over here. Bitch. Internet celebrities already get way too much hype online and people already suck the farts right out of their ass as it is. So the fact that they're being paparazzi probably just, it probably feeds their ego so hard. Yeah, I thought we would go ahead and see influencers and in their natural habitat. I thought it would be so long before I said these words that I'm about to say, but before we get into it, Ah! Here's a word from our sponsor. What? I have a spot. I, I haven't had a spot. I haven't had a sponsor in years. As you guys can see on my face, I have these beautiful prescription blue light glasses on. All thanks to a wonderful company called Felix Gray. As you guys know, I'm a full-time YouTuber. I also have a business where I edit videos for other influencers and YouTubers. Meaning my job is to stare at a computer screen all hours of the day. As my business grew and I started to gain more clients, I noticed that my eyes became really strained all the time. I was having a hard time falling asleep. I noticed a lot of headaches when I got up in the morning after editing all night and just overall really dry eyes. You wanna be comfortable when you're doing your work, when you're in your zone, when you're doing your thing. So a couple weeks ago, Felix Gray reached out to me wanting to collab and I was like, you know what? This would be such an amazing thing to try. So they sent me a pair of prescription blue light glasses and I have to say my life has literally been changed. Not only do I look literally 10 times cuter, but I've noticed I don't have any more headaches. My eyes aren't dry. You know, your eyes are so important and I think everyone should have really good eye care. And if that starts by getting a pair of blue light glasses, then so be it. Let's do it. <laughs> there are a lot of blue light glasses on the market, but they're not all created equal. You know, many blue light glasses don't filter enough blue light, especially in the range that matters, but Felix Gray is different. They use their own proprietary lens technology to filter almost 90% of blue light in the most damaging range and eliminates 99% of glare. Thanks to Felix Gray for sponsoring this video. My sh looking good. Like, look. <laughs> the first video that we're gonna watch is called Trisha Paytas identifies as a man and Rose Paparazzi when asked about Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. <laughs> first of all, what a mouthful. My God, talk about like the word count, trying to get all the words in, jeez. Hi. What's up Trisha, how's it oh, going? Good, good. Can you guys just so, hang out here? A little, we live like in the alley. You guys just hang out here. <laughs> We live in the alley. <laughs> Imagine like just seeing like a rat photographer just. <laughs> Imagine following Trisha Paytas around like Melrose Avenue. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. This one is a little old, but this one says Emma Chamberlain and Ethan Dolan speak on their relationship and react to Jake Paul's wedding. This was in 2019, but we're gonna watch it still. Oh my God. The way that, like the intensity of the camera snapping, like they're celebrities, like that is crazy to me. They're just coming out of like a store. 
Man, you guys are covered in sweat. We are. Man, so how was your workout? Was it good? It was really good. Man, you guys are covered in sweat. <laughs> if someone was photographing me, that would be me all the time. I'm, I'd be like this. Man, you guys are covered in sweat. Yeah, what about it? Honestly, I feel for them. You guys are covered in sweat. P.U. Stinky boo-boo. <laughs> Her lips are not crusty. What, what's the texture that you would say that, that they are? So what's what's going on with you guys? Like, what are you working on next? You like, what 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 new stuff you have coming out? Are you going to VidCon? Imagine going around and asking a YouTuber, what you got going on? What you got coming next? I would be like, video in my bedroom. <laughs> Like who cares? Maybe I'm just jealous that I am not getting photographed. Maybe maybe I'm jealous All right, and the next one we are going to watch is James Charles question about Tati Westwick drama James How are you any comment? Is what is Tati uh, correcting what she's been saying? Do you sexually harass straight men literally walking like this? Do you sexually harass? <laughs> this next one is another James Charles one. It says, James Charles speaks on Hype House and Sisters merch with Addison Ray. What, uh, what's going on with you in the, uh, the Hype House? <laughs> Literally nothing. <laughs> nothing? We've just been hanging out chilling all the time. I have my own beautiful home, so. Yeah, I know, I man. Live there. Your place is amazing. Thank you. Yes. I appreciate it a lot. So, so just chilling at my own home. I have one. What, how did, how did one of you, how did your merch end up in, uh, in, what is it, Goodwill? Uh, well, you know, what? sometimes kids grow out of things or just don't are like not fans anymore, which is completely fine. Hopefully, another sister finds it and gets okay. a really great deal on a sister's apparel hoodie. He is on. Hopefully, a sister goes to Google and gets another sister's apparel hoodie. Mm -hmm. Hello, sister, come make a barrel. So, so Abigail, how do you like being in the hype house? Her name is Addison. <laughs> oh, Addison, my my bad. Sorry, 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 oh, Addison. Sorry, Addison Ray. Um, Addison. It's, it's awfully fun. <laughs> How are you gonna be a paparazzi and get the name wrong? So this next video is not a paparazzi video. This is an exclusive. Basically, there is this mansion that is rented out by a bunch. Basically, there is a mansion that is rented out by a bunch of TikTokers, and they just make content in it. It's a content house. It'd be like living in a movie set. It's like living on a movie set. Cameras everywhere. Lights flashing. Like slow down. Can we slow down? You just prop your phone up and you press record. What you talking about? Like a movie set. This group of 20 talented content creators is part of a growing trend of young social media stars snapping up big real estate so they can physically be together to make videos 24 seven. Snapping up big real estate, like they're moguls or they're some type of bruh, big, 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 big wig. And the hype house is living up to its name. Did y'all see that house? Did y'all see that? That is a mansion. Who's cooking, who's cleaning, who's paying rent. The people who are here and have a room here and have a place to stay here pay rent. Right. And then, uh, like, cooking, nobody cooks <laughs> at all. Who is this adult man? <laughs> who is he? Why does he look like he's 38? Yeah, um, we don't cook in this beautiful mansion that has probably, like, a 1,600 square foot kitchen. Yeah, we don't cook. Nor do we clean. They may not be doing chores because they may not have to. TikTok stars with endorsement deals. They don't do chores because they don't have to. Who? <laughs> there are some times when I have eaten dinner with my roommates and usually my roommates will cook and then I will clean. And I just like look at the kitchen and be like, you son of a bitch, you fucking bitch. How dare you get dirty? How dare I cook? How dare I eat? How dare I live? I'm just looking at that kitchen with all the dirty dishes in the sink. I'm like, you fucking bitch. I don't want to have to cook and clean and all that shit, but we do it anyways. It's part of life. I don't care who you are. It's part of life. TikTok stars with endorsement deals can earn between $200 and $20,000 per video. <laughs> Between two hundred and twenty thousand dollars per video, bitch. I am so broke, <laughs> bro. If I got between two hundred and twenty thousand dollars for doing this, <laughs> I would be pretty happy too. Um, but I'm not happy. I'm depressed. We have a house of twenty people that post three to four times a day. Like we're talking about. 
over 150 videos every single day from just our team. 150 TikToks? That's insane. Have you guys seen my TikToks? Imagine me renting a house for TikTokers to make the TikToks that I make. <laughs> renting a house to make TikToks, that is... Truly insane. Talk to me about what your families think. My mom and I both got involved in the industry around the same time. She actually has a TikTok account, so like she's very like into the yeah. world of it. Yeah, my mom and I got um, into like the TikTok industry pretty quick. Um, I would say we post some videos of us um, gyrating and moving our arms like this, and that is how it all got started. Like this. This is how it all got started, you guys. And now I can, and now I can <laughs> confirm. I mean, that's like a little cringy, you know, like just these like boys just. I don't know, am I just like getting something? I feel like that might be it too. We really took a deep dive into the Hype House. So now let's keep on going with um, paparazzi. So riding on the back of that video, we have this from the Hollywood Fix. Charlie D'Amelio and Chase Hudson confirm the relationship and do a TikTok with fans at LAX airport. Hey, what's up Charlie, how's it going? Is this like the hottest new couple? Yes. Are, you, are you guys, <laughs> you, you are. Damn, hell oh. I have to laugh. I must laugh. It's literally just two prepubescent teenagers. What is hot about that? That is disgusting. That is disgusting. <laughs> like this guy is full on recording them making a TikTok in the worst place on the planet Earth, the airport. The next one is Addison Rae East Sterling. Easterling talks Bryce Hall, Blueface, James Charles, who cares? Let's do it, girls. No, 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 no. This girl is. <laughs> this girl's making a TikTok outside a restaurant on a valet post. This shit has gone too far. Oh my god. Oh my god, the ballet. Oh my god, the ballet guy's right there and she's. <laughs> the ballet guy is just making minimum wage, trying to do his job, and you have this, this little dumb girl going. <laughs> you got me fucked up. That is funny. That is funny. <laughs> What's up, Addison? <laughs> I'm like a ghost lurking in the shadows. Girl, girl, and now she's shy. I just don't understand why these people think they need to talk to this guy. Like, there's, in no world do you owe this man any type of explanation. Tell him, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy on the, at the valet stand making a TikTok. Honestly, though, I have to give it to her. She's dedicated to the craft. <laughs> She said, I'm doing a TikTok really quick. <laughs> Those girls are standing there waiting for her to finish her TikTok so they can take a photo with her. That is just insanity. She said, that's a real artist. That's a true artist right there, Miss Addison Ray. That's a true artist. Poor Earth Cafe Valley man. I have to give it up to him. Can we just give us give a round of applause to the Earth Cafe man? Comment down below if you love him. I do. Well, I think that's all for today's video, folks. Thank you for watching. If you want more of these reaction videos, please leave them down below. Leave them down below. Make sure you check out Felix Gray. Link in the description. And thank you for Felix Gray once again for sponsoring today's video. Bye. <laughs> Ew. Okay, peace out, and don't forget to follow me on TikTok. Goodbye.